I hope you're all okay. This is video is aimed at year three and today we're looking at fractions and to be able to count up in tenths. So we're going to have a look at this chocolate bar first. So there's ten pieces of the chocolate bar. So we're going to look at how much of the chocolate does each child get. Obviously, one piece of the chocolate bar is one tenth of the bar because the chocolate bar is cut into ten different pieces. So this is one tenth of the chocolate bar. And if we put the next bit next to it, that will be two tenths of the chocolate bar. And then if we put a third piece of the chocolate, that will be three tenths of the chocolate bar. And then if we put a fourth piece, it will be four tenths of the chocolate bar. Then obviously five would be five tenths of the chocolate bar. The sixth piece would be six tenths of the chocolate bar. And the seventh piece would be seven tenths of the chocolate bar. The eighth piece would be eight tenths of the chocolate bar. And then the ninth piece would be nine tenths of the chocolate bar. And then finally we have the last piece, which is ten tenths, which is the same as one whole, because we have a whole chocolate bar represented on here. So each child is going to get the equal amount. So each child will get five tenths of the chocolate bar if they were to share it all of it out equally between them. So we're looking at different ways to represent tenths. So this is one, so there's ten boxes that have been shaded in. So I'll have a look at this one. So what number does each stand for? So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're going to have 10 as my denominator because there are 10 squares. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 of them have been shaded in. So if you pause the video and then you can have a go at B and C and then I'll go through the answers. Okay, so let's have a look at B. So it is definitely 10 pieces together in total and only one of them has been shaded in so that is one tenth is what this represents let's have a look at the last one so again there is ten squares and one two three four five six seven eight nine of them have been shaded in so that is nine tenths so this represents nine tenths. Let's have a look. So what is missing? What are the missing numbers in this one? So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So again, we are counting up in tenths. So this one is one tenth. I've told you that one. Again, if you want to pause the video and then I'll go for the answers in a moment as to what you think these ones represent. So if this one is one tenth, this one must be two tenths, which means this one must be three tenths. So this one's four tenths, five tenths. 6 tenths, so this one is 7 tenths, this one would be 8 tenths, so this one must be 9 tenths. And then this last one would be 10 tenths or the whole as we've got here. So have a look at this one and completing the number patterns. So pause the video and then I'll go for the answers in a minute. Okay, so for this one, you need to make sure that you're looking at what they're going up in. So this one is 
one tenth, two tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths. So this one is going up in one tenth, so this one is three tenths. This one is going down in tenths, so it's eight tenths, seven tenths, six tenths. So this one would be five tenths. This one's four tenths. This one would be three tenths. And this one would be two tenths. Okay, this one is looks like it's going up in two tenths, you've got three tenths, then it goes up to five tenths, and it's missing, and then the nine tenths, so this one is seven tenths. So this one goes starts from nine tenths, then it goes down to six tenths, so this one it looks like it's going down in threes, so this one would be three tenths. Thank you for watching.